Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Corey. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell. Check out the details below my videos when you get a chance. I've got good resources for you in there. I have links to my Discord server. I have links to WHF's recruiting Discord server. Also, I have links to WHF's live streaming. So check it out when you get a chance. With that, let's get into this video. This is going to be all about miners. Today, we're asking the question, what's better, mass miner or queen walk miner? And my answer is, they're both equally good. Uh, but they are meant for different types of bases. So whether, you know, if you can add a queen walk safely, uh, if the base is good for it, I think it's the best way to go, definitely. Um, but not all bases are fit for it, and that's what we're going to take a look at today. First of all, let's take a look at hit number 16 here. This is going to be, uh, this is a queen walk minor hit. Uh, very heavy walk. Look at that. He's got five healers invested on this, and this is unusual. Um, we don't see that very often. You, a lot of times we'll see two or three healers because if you time it right, if you time your walk just right with the miners, the miners are doing a lot of the tanking for the queen, so she still gets the funneling done in time, but the miners are right there too, tanking a lot of those defenses. So a lot of times two or three uh, uh, healers is all it really takes for a queen walk miner attack. This one's a bit different because uh, he's got... Look at this. He's going to walk his queen down this side right here. You see there's no de air defenses over there to snipe his healers. You know, if it would have been set back like where the queen king platform is in air defense, um, it's going to snipe your healers because uh, your queen can't reach it in time. I mean, maybe if you time it right, your miners get in time, but maybe they don't. Your healers are getting wasted. You're losing value on the attack. So this is a really safe side to walk a queen down. However, a lot of damage over there. We got the enemy king over there. Hopefully the miners get him in time, but I mean, she's going to get stuck on these storages for a while while she's getting hammered by by two archer towers and then down here a little later we got another expo two more archer towers along with a cannon heavy heavy damage over there but also a very safe walk for the healers so he's going to invest five healers on it and uh and just keep his queen alive and uh it's a nice safe walk he's going to get really good value out of it not all bases are that way a lot of times you have an air defense that can snipe healers sometimes you have a single over there that's going to fry your queen either way once she's popped her you know used her ability once uh you know after that no bueno. <clears throat> he also brings five heals for this base. Why did he bring five heals? Actually, I'm going to slow back down so I can talk a little bit. Why did he bring five heals for this base? A lot of people like to bring four heals and a rage. You know, and sometimes I like to too, but it depends on the base. All right. The reason he's bringing five heals on this one is this splash damage is really spread out, including on the very, very back side of this base. He's got whiz tower on the back side bomb tower on the back side this gap right here you could probably expect a giant bomb right there right next to the bomb tower that's deadly you don't want to be out of heals by the time you get to that section uh so he goes ahead and brings five heals instead of just four all right now we'll speed it up now that i had a chance to talk about that i love that half speed uh gives me some time to catch up and talk about some stuff uh, where are you going to heal on these bases? Um, you know, if you got a big pack of miners in there getting up next to some splash damage, or sometimes even if they're just taking really, really heavy damage from a big group of point defenses, a uh, good place to get the heals down. You know, are miners hard to see in the middle of a raid? Sure, they are. Uh, loot with them. Do a lot of looting with them. Help do all your looting with them. And uh, you'll get, definitely get a lot more used to healing miners. Um, so at this point, the queen does get stuck on the hound. That's one of the things you got to kind of get used to on a queen walk minor hit. At some point, your queen's going to encounter that hound pretty much all the time. And, you know, that's all right. If you time your miners right, you still have your ability for that if needed. Um, you know, and, and she can go ahead. As long as she's got enough healers and an ability, she can take care of the hound and the pups, no problem, and then walk around and finish the raid. You see, he still hasn't used his queen's ability. Uh, swags it on this one. Doesn't need it. And the miners even get through most of those defenses. The only thing the queen had to take out at that point was that last Tesla. I think that last miner probably wouldn't have made it quite through it, but she only had to give it one hit. So very nice raid by Lex on this one. That. now we're going to look at two mass minor hits we're going to see why why didn't we use a queen walk on those hits and uh first of all one's going to be 22 all right let's check out the base now you're going to see first of all you're looking at wall wrecker where you're going to be able to get some value from the wall wrecker he's just going to put it right in here it's kind of going to get fried by this single but whatever it's going to do some funneling some tanking on the way in now, he's going to end up walking his queen down this side right here. And first thing he notices, that single is right there. we got some wall pieces open. She's probably going to duck in there and get fried by that single. Um, so, in cases like that... Oh, and also, look at this. Look at this. She's also going to encounter that hound really, really soon. If she ducks inside that wall, that hound's going to aggro on her really fast. And, uh, you know, honestly... <coughs> 
excuse me. Uh, honestly, at that point, you're going to have a single that's probably going to fry her anyways. Not worth it to invest healers on the attack. Not worth it at all. Now, this is a cleanup hit. Obviously, he knows it's a Houndloon CC, um, but he also knows that this base has some troll Teslas. So he's going to go ahead and use a loon on that first one right over there. Very nice. Use some uh, minions down for funneling. He actually wants his queen to go in and, and kind of cut off that side of the funnel. But since he doesn't have healers on her, She's going to go down early enough that uh, she shouldn't pop that hound. So that's the nice thing about this. Uh, queen walk, mass miner. A lot of times you don't have to deal with that hound at all. As long as you play your queen in a safe area. And, uh, and she ends up dying before she locks onto it. Or dying soon after she locks onto it. So he does bring a rage on this one, um, you know, and he had some serious splash damage on the backside of this base, but some people just like to have that rage for the core. It is a high value core right here. I can see why he brought it. We had two wizard towers, two expos, and a clan castle, along with the enemy queen right there. That is all really high hit points and really dangerous stuff. So I can see why he brought a rage on this one, because that core section there had a ton of value. Very high hit points in, in a really concentrated section like that. Then it's usually a good idea to bring a rage just to get your miners through it quickly. He does make sure to save it heal for that backside multi-target inferno and wizard tower. Very nicely done. He obviously planned out his spells very well on this attack to have one left for that backside right there uh, where it was definitely definitely needed so unfortunately it wears off before those healers can get through that wizard tower so this one's gonna come down to the wire all right we don't see bases crushed with miners very often i think they've got them just right on that balance point uh because you'll definitely see minor fails too um you know, but, you know, as long as you plan it out well, you know, respect the base. Don't just think your miners are going to come in there and crush it. And, uh, and then you will have really good success with them. As long as you plan with it, respect the splash damage, uh, you know, and just kind of plan accordingly where your queen's going to go. So remember, single target Inferno's in range. Queen's getting fried anyways. Why would you invest healers on her in this case? On that kind of base, we're not going to. Also, we're going to take a look at number 41. It's also going to be a mass miner, and it did not get healers on it for a little bit different reason though uh you're gonna see so weep wop here is gonna run the queen walk down this side first of all right off the get-go we got an air defense that can snipe healers queen can't reach it but it can reach healers so strike number one against running a queen walk well what if we ran a queen walk down this side over here single target inferno is going to fry the queen not worth wait not worth wasting healers i mean sure we get a heal swap onto the miners for a little bit but honestly it's better to just have the extra miners now down on the bottom side what if we ran the siege machine in right here and the king up here and the queen down here you're gonna see all this open area she's probably ducking inside this base really soon and really getting locked onto this hound really soon uh which you know she very well might not survive because there's a lot of point defenses in there so she's stuck on the hound uh while the point defenses are hammered and down on her uh first of all she she very well might pop it right before she dies and then you have really nothing to answer that many pups with sure you got a second poison but you're not going to catch them all in that one poison so uh any angle you look at it here really kind of dangerous to to do a queen walk on this base for you know in those three positions for three different reasons so weep wop is just going to use a mass miner hit here does try to bring down some giants ahead of time. I think those were kind of tank for to tank for the queen, um, maybe to tank for the wall wrecker a little bit. I'm not sure, but uh, definitely to tank for something. So wall wrecker comes in first. So the giants weren't to tank for that. Uh, probably one of those giants to tank for the queen, which you know the wall wrecker's tanking for a little bit. Has the king coming down on this side. Now you want to take a look when you're setting your king or, or queen down on a side. Where is that single target range so that you know where you have to pop your hero's ability. If it's a king, you want those barbs to distract that single target inferno before it locks onto the king. Once it locks onto the king, it's too late. He doesn't disappear like the queen does when she activates her ability. So if that single gets locked onto the king, I mean, sure, go ahead and pop your ability, but he's still going to get fried. The idea is to pop his ability right before he comes into contact that single target inferno range that way the barbarians distract it long enough that he stays alive a lot longer so gonna be another five heal attack on this one very nice because you'll see any way you play it you have a ton of splash damage on the back side of this base and from the way that we pop hit it uh you know we got a wizard tower and a bomb tower wow 
two wizard towers and a bomb tower on the back side of this base so i definitely would have brought five heals on this one as well um gosh kind of comes down to the wire there my goodness has a big group of miners coming in from the top side there Unfortunately, they got sidetracked out of that base a little bit. King wasn't able to do quite enough funneling to keep him in the base the entire time. Uh, wow, very patient on that last heal. Very nice. Waiting for that big group of miners to get over there and, uh, you know, covering those last splash damage splash buildings with it you might say oh he didn't cover the wizard tower you don't have to cover the wizard tower you just have to cover the area where the miners are going to be standing when they're hitting that wizard tower don't you don't have to heal the defenses you have to heal your troops goes with hogs miners any of that sort of stuff so if you know what direction they're going to be hitting that building and you can just cover that edge boom your troops are covered very nicely done by weep Wop on that one so i hope that that has answered your questions help you kind of figure out if you're going to minor a base uh you know should i do a queen walk with it or should i just do mass miner so if you take those things into account that we just talked about you're going to have a lot of success i hope you guys like the video and i'll see you in the next one